I was always like a hermit, didn't want to go out, anything like that. For collecting, it's just finding that unique item that I can add to my collection that makes a set complete or starts a whole nother branch of collecting for me. Hi, my name is Gerda Scheuers and I collect Smurf memorabilia. Never tallied it up fully, but I would say everything is about 100,000 plus, you know, but I never actually went through and said this piece that, you know, and it fluctuates. New collectors come in, they're willing to spend the money, you know, it, it fluctuates greatly. So, you know, I would roughly say about a $100,000 value for everything. I'm part of a Smurf community online and a gentleman by the name of Steve Parks had it in England. He was the first one to have it. He shared his collection and people would say, well, how many do you have? And I'm like, well, I think I got more than him. Well, you should go for the record. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going for that. No way. So one day I just kind of dared myself to step out of my comfort zone, put in the application to attempt it. and. You know, as soon as I started the process of counting, I'm like, I'm not going to get this, you know, talking myself out of it. It wasn't until I saw my name on Guinness World Record, until I saw my name on there, that's when all of a sudden it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I like literally called my husband up and says, go look at this page. My name is on there. Am I seeing this right? And he's like, yep, you're on there. So these are all the PVC Smurfs, and they're in order of when they were released, starting from the top all the way through to the newest ones. I never expected, you know, my name to be known around the world. Um, I've made some really great friends around the world who's, who've helped me collect a lot of this stuff, made connections, you know, with people that I don't think I ever would have made connections with had it not been for collecting. It's a wonderful little community we have setting stuff up and, you know, sharing and helping each other's collections grow. The bag and the magnets I got from a lady in Hong Kong that's helping us out get stuff from that area of the world. These are actually movie theater um, banners that somebody either smuggled out or whatever, stuff that was supposed to be thrown away. So that's what these are, is the two movie theater banners. I got some of the newest ones in here. This is a village that's being released a little bit at a time that comes with its own comic book. So these are kind of fun. Once it gets set up, it'll look really, really nice. When I was little, my brother and I had them as toys and we used to play with them and everything like that. I was maybe six, maybe a little younger than that. And we had him as toys and he started chewing on one of them. And I saw him break it and I was like, nope, it, it can't happen. So I gathered everything up, hid it in my room and just started going out and finding stuff from there. My little soccer. <laughs> and of all of them, I mean, He's still my favorite, you know, it started it all and, you know, it's, it's still my favorite. And you could see why I took it from him. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So this is just one of my binders of animation cells. And I have some of the original backgrounds used in the um, Hanna-Barbera shows. And these are all hand painted.
I'm definitely going to keep collecting. Um, it's just a fun little escape from everything that's going on, especially, you know, having people set stuff aside around the world that you can, you know, buy because there's great friends out there that are willing to do that. And it's just fun. I mean, I got no intention of stopping.